Hey there folks, back again for another box opening. This time it is a lovely box of 1.5. Uh, already took the plastic off, but let's open it up. Let's have a look at what we've got in the top of this bad boy. We have already, you can see on top, let's try not to bend this, shall we not? Uh, got the lovely security and Kilamon. I mean, I'm actually happy with this. Um, I mean, I probably would have preferred the Edgemon. Um just because I'm a blue player, but uh, Ankylomon is actually one of my favourite Digimon from uh, Digimon 2, so I'm more than happy to get it. Right, I will be right back once i got these packs out of the box. So we're back. Lovely 24 packs, six of each design again, um, and I'll be right back once I've cut into these bad boys. So we are back. I've opened up all the packs. Uh, so we're going to open up our special box promotion to start off with. And we are going to pull the promo, Garurumon, and Wear Garurumon to start off with. Great, I got them last time in my uh, last box that I just opened. So, you know, always happy to get them. I am a blue player, Garurumon, Wear Garurumon, all the Gabby Online are my personal favourite. So always happy to have more of them. Um, but I obviously do want to get one of each just for collection purposes. So we're going to start off with the All Force Vmon cards, uh, with the All Force Vmon packs, uh, to see what we can pull here. And I'm going to do as I always do and just show you the uh, rares and the super rares because that's all we particularly care about. Uh, everyone knows what normals you get in there. We're very happy with them. Cool. So the first rare that we're going to pull is the Grace Cross Freezer. Nice little option card there. No, not particularly useful, um, just because it's too expensive. And an Old Force Vigeron from the first Old Force Vigeron pack. That's hilarious. Um, always great to start your first pull with a uh, an SR. Uh, as people have pointed out many, many times, Old Force Vigeron isn't that useful in uh, the English meta because we are going to skip over uh, BT2 format, which is where it kind of found its prime. Um, but each to their own. Hopefully it can find its niche at some point if people continue to keep playing it. Uh, then next two. Oh, we have a Salomon Rare. Lovely. And we have a Scrap Claw. One of the, the rarer BT1 cards that appears in the BT1.5 setup. Um would love to have known what all their choices were for which cards were going to be allowed and which weren't. So, next rare, we have a Ken Ichijoji. Lovely Ken. Unfortunately, not that useful, are you, mate? And we have a Vmon. Awesome. Very happy. Very useful for me as a blue player. That card always finds use. Just having a, a rookie that can cause jamming. Play it with all the other Imperial Dramon and Pale Dramon cards, and you got yourself the ability to do a lot of damage in a few turns. Cool. So, move on to our fourth out of six pack. And two rares that we're going to pull here, or SRs maybe. Uh, Shakuman. Very lovely. I mean, I've seen, I've had put games against this card that have actually caused me a lot of issue. And we have a Brave Shield. Again, another BT1 that appears in 1.5. Not particularly that useful, I don't think, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but you never know. People play lots of different things. It's a good thing about Digimon card games. Okay, on to our fourth pack. No, fifth pack of the set so far. We have a Aero Vigramon. Uh... I tried to use this for a bit and just could never get it to work. It's just so expensive for a level five. And so rarely does it kind of get to pull off its uh, combos. And a Ragnar Lordmon, just a normal SR Ragnar Lordmon. Again, I think a lot of people are going to play Ragnar Lordmon. I think they really enjoy it as a set. Um, so always great to pull cards that people like. And we'll move on to our final pack. Um, remember, as always, there's seven SRs, two 
either secrets or alt arts, depending on what your box decides to give you. So we have pulled two of our seven so far. And we move on to the next two rares or secret rares, super rares. And we have a Bryludramon and a Dino Beamon. Awesome. I know it's a green card, but still heavily useful for my blue deck, just to give the overall consistency to my blue Impaildramons. Okay, we're going to open the uh, Impaildramon Blitz Greymon pack next. See if we can pull any Impaildramons from this one. So we have Lady Devimon as our first rare, and we have a Angewoman for the second rare. Hilarious that they have both appeared in the same pack. I was watching the Digi Bros do their opening of uh, two 1.5 boxes, and he also, one of them also pulled a Angewoman and a Lady Devimon in the same pack. Is it coincidence or is it fate? Lovely. So, move on to our next two. We have pulled a Joe Kido, uh, a very useful black tamer, finds loads of use, and also um, Joe loves to appear out of my first box of every set. And we've pulled the alt art of the Old Force Vidramon. Very much telling me that maybe I should try and play an Old Force Vidramon in this format by the fact that I pulled two of two out of my first lot of cards, which is uh, quite funny. But that's one of my secrets or my alt arts. So, I wonder what we're going to pull next. Let's move on to the next one. So, we have a rare of Durandamon. Again, just all helping towards that Ragnar Lordmon deck. And a Blitz Greymon. All of the red. All of the red cards coming out here. Lovely cards. I uh, unfortunately didn't get any dash packs with these cards, which is a bit disappointing, um, just because the alt art for Blitz Greymon looks so great. But I do have more packs, uh, more boxes ordered, which will get here. I don't know when they'll get here. Probably April from the from the sounds of me speaking to the distributor. But um, hopefully that means that I will be able to pull some of those then. Our next two, we have a, a Stingmon and a Mimi Tachikawa, the purple. Uh, I saw some people trying to get to purple Mimi to work, um, just because that when you use an option, one memory jack is, is very useful, especially in the Lilithmon kind of option purple. Um, but uh, we don't know if it'll ever find its true dominance, but if it's going to try, it's going to try in this format. Lovely. So we move on to our next two. We have a rare of Lady Devimon. So, Angel Woman next, I presume. Oh no! It is the Omnimon Alter S. Wow! What a card! What a card to pull! And if I'm if I'm not mistaken, this Alter S is the alternate art one. Uh, I can never remember. People keep talking about it, but they're looking for the normal one with the sword down. So I can only presume that this is the alternate art one, um, which is amazing. What a freaking great pull. That is two boxes in a row of pulling an Omnimon alter alternate art. Obviously I pulled the, the normal, the 1.0 Omni uh, just before, um, uh, for 1.0 even, in my box that I did on Friday. Uh, or Saturday, whenever I did it. Uh, so that's pretty amazing to pull two different om Omni alternate arts in uh, a couple of days. Move on to our next one. We have the rare of the Malomyotis Mon, a card that I actually really like. When It's the same as kind of Old Force of Edramon, that when the combo goes off, it's a really freaking great card. But the problem is just getting, getting to the combo is kind of not... Getting there quick enough is the problem with Malamotus Mon. And a Joe Kido, because Joe loves to appear in my first boxes. What do we open next? Do we open the Omnimon? Since we pulled the Omnimon now, 
we can open the Omnimon packs. No, no chance of having a second one in there since uh, we've had both of our secret slash alternate arts. So no more Omnis, but we can still pull four more SR cards. Remember, I'm a blue player, so we are looking for the blue SRs. Um, and rares. Cool. So that's the Shakumon. Another one. And the Impeldramon Dragon Mode. Speak of the devil and it will appear. Uh, amazing. Super happy. Great card to pull. Um, I mean, it's going to take me a while to get all four of them. Or hopefully singles can kind of come down in price a little bit. Uh, slash I can get my cards sooner rather than later. And find out how many Impeldramons I can play with. Uh, but yeah, it's looking like at the moment with all my pulls that it's going to have to be an Impeldramon Metal uh, Garurumon build <laughs> if I want to play a blue deck at the moment. Uh, so the next rare is Glorious Burst. Awesome yellow card. It's been played against me so many times by Shy Greymon decks and sometimes you just really can't deal with it. And a Dark Despair. Awesome. Lovely Lastamon. Oh, they're on the option card. Uh, but yeah, coming back to Glorious Burst, I think... It's kind of a, a broken card. and Well, not broken. It's actually quite well balanced. And uh, a lot of people thought it was broken for a bit. Um, but the fact that it doesn't have a security effect, doesn't even add it to the hand, makes it, makes it really balance out. Because the amount of blue cards that are really good, but then they get to pop for free when they come out of security, is ridiculous. I think Glorious Burst would be broken if it uh, popped in security. Cool. So Breath of the Gods... And a Sylphimon. Two more classic rares there. I've seen Sylphimon be dropped into uh, a couple of Shine Greymon decks. Uh, it's just a useful card to to deal with things. Having a red in there. Um, yeah, just a quick, quick, another DP reducing card. So, next rares and SRs. We have a Testament. And we have an Etamon. Um, I've seen so many people try and make the Etamon deck work. I personally just don't think that it has enough reliability to work. I mean, it's the same as kind of a lot of the, as I was saying about All Force Regimon, the, the reliability of the deck is what slows it down. And so it can just kind of get outpaced by a lot of cards. Cool, so the next one. Ken Ichijoji, welcome back, Ken. And a cranium on. I don't think anyone can get through a box without pulling a cranium on at this rate. Um, but there is another one. So that makes five of our SRs. So we have two left and we have seven packs. And I will say this in every video and I said it all the way through. Be careful when you're buying packs online off randomers. Because we know how many cards are going to appear in a set. Um, so if it's someone like... I've pulled right here. Um, they'll be able to sell you cup, cup packs that uh, don't have any SRs in them. Another Aero Vigimon. Just really want me to play him by appearing more than once. And a Davis Motomiya. Awesome. The first one of those out of probably two or three that I'm going to need for my Imperial Dramon deck. Um, yeah, great to pull rares that we need that we haven't seen before. Not you, Ken. <laughs> Had a couple of them already. Okay, on to the next ones. Okay. Pulled a Metal Greymon. Card that just doesn't find any use, unfortunately. But I uh, still think the art looks so great. And a Wormmon. Oh, you just know that I was uh, blaspheming against Ken, weren't you? So you appeared. We're still rocking out. We're waiting for two of our SRs. Um, I mean, we haven't pulled a Cerismon yet. Um, can't think who else we haven't pulled. Uh, Shine Greymon we haven't pulled. That'd be a pretty good pull because people are going to use that one a lot. We have pulled a Rena Sh Shinomiya. And a Rise Greymon. Very nice. Um... Yeah, I pulled a lot of uh, TKs and Karis from my 1.0 decks. Um, I think I pulled four of each from with the topper for 
Um, so I think it really wants me to try and get around to playing to Shine Greymon, I think, at some point. Um, but I won't, game. I won't. Okay, and your woman has appeared, which must mean... Oh, no, we saw some silver behind, so it's not going to be a Lady Devimon. It's going to be a Kreskarurumon. Awesome. Love that card so much. Any Garurumons I'm happy with. Wish you weren't black, but it obviously makes sense that it's black since it goes with Alter S. Uh, Alter S and Kreskarurumon from the same box. Awesome. So we are still waiting for one more SR. I've got three packs left. So let's see who's going to appear next, shall we? Uh, as I always do, folks, I will stop playing. I'll stop opening packs even uh, as soon as I pulled my last SR of the set. So we got a Mega Gargamon Rare and a Metal Mamimon. Two more awesome rares there that we haven't seen yet. Down to our last two packs. Which pack is going to give the SR that we require? And this is the latest that I've ever gone into a pack opening without pulling all of the SRs. I got down to three, and I think it was seven or so on the last one. Okay. So our next ones are... Is the SR going to appear? Etamon and a Grand Coagamon. There's our final SR. A card that doesn't really find any use at the moment. Another BT1 that didn't appear... Uh, didn't appear... In the 1.0 box. And I might as well just open the last box, my last pack while I'm here. Because why not? Might have another Davis in here for you. And we have a Cherubimon and a Phoenixmon. Two more rares that we hadn't seen before. That's pretty awesome. Can't complain about that. A very nice haul uh, from my first box here. Again, I refuse to pay more than RRP for these. So this is out of a normal price box. But I got it a couple of I bought it just a couple of days ago. Uh, because I finally had some money. Um, same day I bought the 1.0 box. Okay, so, so our first lot of 1.5 SRs we pulled. The Grand Kawagamon, we pulled an Altar, Alt Fief, All Force Vmon, and the normal Ragnar Lordmon, a Blitz Greymon, a Cress, an Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, a Craniomon, and then the awesome, awesome, awesome alternate art of Alter. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, folks. And I'll see you again when I have my next box.